Hey everyone, this is LG Nathan again with a new video for Marvel Puzzle Quest. So, it's around 2 o'clock central time right now in the morning, and I've been trying to figure this application out. Um, I actually went ahead and downloaded the Marvel Puzzle Quest game for Steam, and I'm trying to set up, uh, I've been trying to set up a way to record my PC gameplay. Um, I decided to do this just because I think it'll be a lot better for you guys just because you get to see a little bit more in depth of all the little moves that I do. The little mouse here helps out a lot. Um, now, as you'll probably notice though, throughout the gameplay, you'll see the uh, ISO count, the hero points, and the command points. They're relatively high. Uh, this isn't something that I've obtained. I actually had to kind of cheat the game a little bit. Um, uh, I don't consider it too much of a cheat uh, because of the following. So this is my roster. Um, as you guys can see, I don't have any pretty high leveled up characters. This is an exact duplicate of my roster uh, that I have on my uh, iPhone. There's a couple of characters that are a little bit off, but they're under they're under the level that I had them over there. So like Black Widow, I have 180. Loki over here, I have also 180 on my iPhone. Uh, everybody else is identical, pretty much everybody, for the exception of um, Devil Dinosaur. Devil Dinosaur isn't here, just because you usually get them on the anniversaries. So, Devil Dinosaur, I don't have him here. Uh, aside from that, every, everybody else, I pretty much have. So, anyway, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to do this, or I wanted to implement it into the uh, Steam, just because uh, I saw a couple of um, uh, I, I saw a couple of people upload videos in the Steam format, and I love it. I, I like I love the fact that uh, you can use the mouse, so you can highlight certain important things about the game. So you know, uh, it makes it easier uh, for you to, for you as the viewer to look at the exact move that I'm going to do, so that way we can all be on the same page, whereas under the previous format that I was recording, you know, even if I moved it with my finger, you guys weren't pretty much able to tell. But anyway, this is the new format, uh, this is the new format that I would prefer to keep on using, so if it is something that you guys like, hit the like button, share your feedback on the comments below. Um, Quite honestly, it's it's taken me a while to adjust the settings on my uh, capturing software and everything, but ultimately I think it'll be worth it. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what we have now. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to go ahead and dedicate this video to the Magnetic Mayhem event that's going on uh, through the uh, Versus section of the, um, of the game. We are going to be uh, taking on couple of these guys and uh, who are we gonna take all right these guys are okay all right we'll take these guys all right so we're gonna be taking these guys on and same as before I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, the the set of team or the set team that I normally use for these type of events um, as you can see I've kind of already played with these but um, we have Magneto alongside with Kamala Khan and Loki um, each one of these guys serves their purpose. I'll kind of run through it really briefly. I'll stay throughout the course of the video uh, as well, so you guys can, um, so I can kind of be explaining the the way that the, the new format works, just in case you're not familiar with it, because the light, the icons for using the abilities and everything are changed in certain little. Uh, they're, they're changed. They're they're not the same way that it, they are on their like your phone or so. Uh, but anyway. Um, the, uh, the 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 reason or the way that we're going to be using Kamala Khan is going to be for her yellow ability to regenerate health. She brings up 918 health every time one of her teams uses any ability. So she's a health regenerator. That's what we're using her for. In addition, we are going to be bombarding the enemy team with uh, team damage, 34-45 damage to the entire enemy team. So that's her play in this. Um, in this team. Magneto, uh, he comes in in all of his abilities, right? We have yellow for him so that he can uh, throw out uh, protectiles. We have red to get rid of any uh, team up tiles uh, and it does a massive amount of damage and then magnetized projectiles. This one is by far his strongest attack at the end if you wind up using uh, all seven random blue tiles 
uh, and swapping them out with uh, s uh, seven random red tiles, you're dealing like uh, upwards of 7,000 damage per use of the magnetized projectile. So he's pretty strong, especially because he's boosted. Uh, and then Loki, we're using him for his trickery ability in case the enemy team happens to put down some yell uh, some protectiles he's going to convert those into strike tiles for us so right here it says all enemy protectiles into friendly protectiles he's going to convert all of the enemy protectiles into friendly strike tiles so if they throw out eight protectiles uh, that are strength 40 he turns them into friendly strike tiles strength 40. Uh, his illusions ability it's just really cheap and it's going to be used for the sole purpose of regenerating health um, so that, uh, you know, we can spam this move over and over and over again so that uh, uh, Kamala Khan actually winds up regenerating the entire team's health. So that's the purpose of that one. Now finally, the last one is Mischief. Mischief is one of the most annoying abilities in this game. If you're fighting against Loki, he's probably going to be the first target you want to get rid of. Uh, his Mischief ability, as you, can, as you guys can read down here, he creates a total of four. Uh, I'm sorry. And he, every time that uh, the enemy team makes a match four or or greater, um, at that point Loki converts four basic tiles uh, of that same color into two turn countdown tiles, which steal two random AP. Now, sometimes it comes out favorable, sometimes it doesn't. Oftentimes, it usually comes up favorable. You start stealing. Um, AP from the enemy team, AP that he needs, but in return you need. So, like in this case, the enemy, the enemy is going to be going after red and blue, and I happen to need red and blue to power up my Magneto. So he becomes a perfect fit here. But anyway, that's kind of like a brief uh, breakthrough of the character, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're going to be uh, doing. So let's move on with match, um, as I've done in the past. Stockpile is always is always a good idea to do. Um, we have uh, stockpile blue and purple and uh, yellow and yellow and red. Uh, that's what I'm using for it. Again, don't be scared to use these. These cost very little. Uh, if you don't, I think if you don't have any, they usually cost like 125 ISO. Uh, I think these cost like 200 a pair. But it's nothing. It really, really isn't anything that you're spending. You more than likely you're gonna get those ISO packs at the end of the match anyway. So use them. It's pretty worth a while just because you get to fire off and moves faster. But anyway, let's get started and let's see exactly what we come up with. Now, uh, first of all, the new setup. This one, uh, the way it works is up here. It tells you your, uh, your, your. AP your AP totals right this is the enemy's AP totals now if if you want to fire off a move for Loki you have to click this and then choose whichever one once you've selected uh, or once once you've uh, gathered enough uh, AP it, the the little icon here is going to be glowing and then you can uh, select it from here and just basically do the move so um, this is the way it works uh, health or health is down here uh, for you and then your enemy team. So aside from that the mechanics are essentially the same um, So let's get started with the game and see exactly what we can come up with um, Right now what I'm aiming for in this game is um, Getting enough uh, Red purple and blue those are my priority colors. So right there. There's uh, there's a match four for the enemy team. However, I don't know that it's going to be that useful because look, he has five blue AP. Now, when these go off, they might steal a couple of them here, so it's very annoying for the uh, for the enemy. Uh, so you get two match fives here. Another match five. Wow, that's lucky. All right. So overall, we're getting pretty pretty lucky. So we're just going to continue. Um, Spamming this and generating a couple of health right here. So far, that is a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of tiles that I got. Anyway, we're gonna start dishing out some damage. So what we want to aim for to get rid of here, um, blue. I don't mind Captain America throwing his blue ability. His blue ability can do massive amounts of damage to me, so I want to avoid getting hit by that. Now. Um, I actually might have enough to uh, 
start actually dishing out uh, sufficient damage so that it becomes worth it. Um, what I want to do here is this. And. Alright, so I have enough to take Steven Rogers down. However, my priority should be with Magneto or Human Torch. So, let's go for Magneto just because he's the bigger threat out of all of them. Um, Alright, so he's almost done. And at this point, I'm going to use Inhuman Stretch, even though we really like it's only going to create a very, very uh, small amount of tiles, but maybe it might push me up to the amount that I need. And obviously, it didn't, but anyway, uh, the whole thing was just to get more green so that I don't actually have to keep on or use one of Magneto's uh, big abilities to. Um, to destroy the enemy Magneto. Uh, at this point, just do team damage and let that be the end of it. So anyway, um, now we want to focus on this guy because essentially the enemy Magneto is pretty much dead. Um, so let's see what we got. We got a little bit more here and we got enough to cripple him down just a tad bit more. Almost within striking range of also taking both of these down at the same time. So, uh, what I want to see is if I should. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's go for the green. There it is. So now I have enough to take down Magneto for sure. And then hopefully I should have enough to. Yeah, here it is. Take down Human Torch. So. That pretty much puts him in striking distance. So, here both of them down, and now we're just left with Steven Rogers, which is an easy kill at this point. Uh, we can just continue spamming the illusions up until we get the necessary AP. All we need is a match three blue, and the game is over. Uh, so we didn't get it there, however, we got plenty of it right here. And that's pretty much going to be game. Um, as you guys can see, that Mischief ability starts taking its toll over here on his color pool and it gives me a lot more to work with. So, anyway, there you guys have it. You can see the health of my team really didn't get phased at all by any of the enemy team's attacks. So, what we're going to do is actually uh, show, you another, show you another match. I don't see where that's going to be too much of a concern. That one was fairly quick. That way you guys can see the full extent of this team. Alright, so I'm going to take on these three right here. Pretty high leveled up characters, right? Now mind you, I'm only going with... A, with my Magneto's pretty high, uh, highly leveled up. Loki, kind of. Not that much. And then Kamala Khan, she's regular. She's not even boosted in this uh, event. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're not even going to heal any of them just because the whole purpose of this team is to heal... Um, peel off the damage that it takes, but let's see how we do in this game. Hopefully it turns out to be just as good as the previous one. However, that's not often the case. Now, uh, for this one, I need to aim first for uh, Daredevil. He needs to go really, really fast. His trap tiles cause massive amounts of damage, especially if I match it. Um, so I need to get rid of him. Now, see right here, it just took off, like he had five blue and it just gave me a couple of blue right there. Uh, so, those that, that mischief ability is really, really annoying. Again, if you're ever up against a Loki, you want to be targeting the, uh, you want to be targeting him first. You got to get rid of him, he's annoying. The same thing goes for, I uh, forget his name, but, uh, oh. I'll get I'll get back to you if if, if I remember the name I'll, I'll get back to you guys. But I think uh, I'm trying I'm trying to remember who that is. Uh, the hood the hood is the guy the character I was thinking about. The hood has an annoying ability as well that just keeps on you know stealing AP left and right and it just you know it's not pretty. You have come it's not pretty at all. All right, so we have enough to use Magneto's red. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. 
like I said, he's his his ability is pretty annoying. Um, what we're gonna be doing here is um, going after uh, which color? All right, let's go after green. We're sh pretty close in getting a Kamala Khan screen going, so that should do a little bit of damage there. Now. Um, I have course serving fields and this is gonna protect my team a little bit more plus it's gonna regenerate my health so it's a win-win and uh, alright let's see if we get enough alright so here's Billy Club not that annoying he, he just stuns that's all I'd much rather see Billy Club than Magneto's Blue just cuz Magneto's Blue is just massive really really massive um, so I stole some AP from him. Still not enough to fire off my moves, but on the next one I'm gonna steal a couple more AP. So keep your eyes up here and see exactly what we're stealing. We stole green, red, blue, purple, which is all colors that I need. Uh, so, like I said, it does come in handy. Uh, not a, not always, but a good majority of the time it actually gets the colors that you need. So. That's pretty much it for. That's pretty much it for Daredevil, and now I can start focusing on the rest of them. So I gotta be weary of his Magneto, which is gonna start doing damage as of this turn. If you're using his Polarizing Force, it's actually gonna do a decent amount of damage to me because there's a lot of these team up uh, APs over here. So um, I'll let him do that. To Magneto, um, and he held off on doing it just because I guess he's he's holding off to use Star Spangled Avenger and Peacemaker. Now, well, he, at this point, he'll probably use Magnetized Projectiles because that does a lot more damage than Peacemaker. Um, so I know I'm gonna get hit this turn. I just wonder how much damage my Magneto is gonna take out of this one. So. Eh, that wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't use the blue ability. So, let us just continue doing purple for now. And there's the blue ability. So this is going to take me down to around half or more than half. Yep. Pretty decent amount. Like I said, since he's boosted, he's a pretty... He's a pretty, uh... He's pretty menacing. He can take down most weak characters fairly, fairly easy. So, uh, at this point, I want to target off... I kind of want to be hitting them both at the same time, so that at the end I can just do one final uh, ability, one, one final green ability, and take both of them down at the same time. But for now, we are going to be spamming Illusion so that we can start regenerating health. This is where Kamala Khan comes in really really handy so at this point you guys are gonna see Loki regenerate a lot more health basically almost to the point where he's fully he's back to full condition or close to it um, Loki's uh, illusions ability helps get to that point so here's for sure minefields I'm just pounding away more and more uh, more and more uh, moves just for the sake of recuperating health, that's all. So, right here we're going to use Peacemaker, which is my team up AP. And I kind of want to just put it down here. Because when this comes back to me, it's going to give me... It's going to give me... Uh, how many AP? 10 blue AP. If you guys don't know, it tells you down here. Just go ahead and read it off. It tells you... But it gives you 10, 10 blue AP back, so I can instantly fire off Magneto's blue right away as soon as I get that back. Um, I have Polarizing Force, I'll just wait till it use that though. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, so it's working out exactly as I wanted. As you guys can see, Loki's recouped like more than half of his health already. And, um,. I just want him to keep on recuperating more and more just to annoy the character, the, the AI a little bit more. 
So, now we use Polarizing Shift to get more HP for Loki. And we have enough to use her green ability. Use Illusions, get more health coming back our way. Just continue the onslaught over and over again. So it's just a consistent amount of damage over and over and over again. So I have enough to finish off my needle there. And him I really want to get rid of. And yeah, just throw a couple of projectiles. As you guys saw, Loki fully regenerated. So He's basically complete. So, this team is really, really good in the fact that it basically regenerates your, your, your entire team. And that's pretty much going to be game. So, right there with Captain America returning that shield, uh, I get to use Magnetized Projectile. So, always as well, um, I, even though I stockpile a lot, I tend to use one character uh, that is basically going to make a difference for it. So. Uh, don't be shy to ask your lines for team-ups. Uh, they really come out and help you uh, in certain events. Uh, in this case, like you said, like you saw, it gave me back 10 AP enough to take care of the uh, to take care of the um, the enemy, t the, the the surviving enemy player. So uh, anyway, this is the new setup. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it, just because it took me a while to finally get the settings right under my. Uh, capturing in my game capturing software so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it if you do like I said uh, share your comments below and uh, give it a thumbs up uh, that way I know that you guys uh, like this new setup and, and, and that way I can continue to upload it uh, one key thing I forgot to mention prior though uh, the only reason why I glitched out this game or why I, uh, I did the cheat on this game uh, the specific reason for it is because I actually reached out to um, the developers of this game. I've progressed uh, on my iPhone a lot uh, for like two to three years. I, I want to say more like two years if I'm not mistaken. So I played this game for like two years on a daily basis. I've acquired all the uh, all, all the characters that I have. It doesn't really take you that long to acquire these. It's just uh, I took breaks in between the game and you know I keep on coming back and going off. But anyway, um, the reason why I did it is because when I contacted them, they informed me that uh, you're not able to transfer out your progress from your iPhone into into Steam. They use different um, uh, different servers, and therefore you're not able to transfer it. There's no apparent uh, workaround for this in the near future, so. You know, if you're new to Marvel Puzzle Quest and you like this setup a lot better, go through it to, through Steam and start it there. I personally like it through my mobile device a lot better just because it's handy and it's on me at all times. Um, but again, that's my preference. Um, the, and at this point, it just like like I said, it'll it'll all depend to you. If you're new to the game, this will work out for you. If you're not new to the game, uh, continue on your mobile device. Um, it helps out pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it pays off to have it with you at all times just because some of the events end up at certain hours of the night or maybe at your lunch break at work or something. So, you know, not all the time you're carrying your laptop, but you're usually always carrying your phone. But anyway, that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I got another video coming up as well for... Uh, that one versus one event for the uh, Crash of Titans, so keep an eye out for that one. And I got a couple of tokens that I opened up through it, so um, it should be coming in shortly. Uh, once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, just give it a thumbs up. Uh, but as usual, thanks so much for watching, guys.